wall side with the bird. What's going on? It's your boy Dash. Check out my new radio show, The Dash Effect. Every Thursday, 6 to 8 p.m. Download that tune in app. Search no radio and get plugged in. Watch me, don't doubt me. Don't be doubting me. Stop. Oh, you forgot how I do it. Right now we have a um, book right on the door today. Yes. You know? Hello. How are you doing today? Fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, tell us about this book. You know, I think it's very interesting because it says fuck it on the front cover. I don't know how you got that published, but you know, we're we going to get into that. You know? Well, see, the good thing is that I self-published it, so I didn't have to slide this past nobody. I did it myself. So um, the title is just how I felt, and I really just put it on the front of the book, and it's actually been getting a lot of positive feedback because of the title. Like, right. it kind of just draws people in when you first see it. Right. You never expect it. So, yeah. Okay, so... I heard you say that it was self-published. Mm -hmm. Like, tell us the difference between being self-published and having to go through, you know, uh, the, the other way that it goes with, for it to be published. Well, you can always get a publisher, which you pretty much just take them the words and they do everything else for you. So they edit everything. They edit it. They um, do the cover design for you. They put all the legal paperwork inside the book for you. Okay. They do everything from the time you hand it over to the time it hits the bookshelf. Okay. So, as self-publishing, I did all that work myself, and this was my first time publishing a book, so it wasn't easy. I did a lot of research, a lot of work, a lot of 24-hour days, just going, you know, day at a time, day at a time, but it's here, and I'm very proud of myself because of it. Word, word. So, as far as your graphics, like, did you um, do the graphics as well? I did everything. Every, Every single thing. thing. So, this, this book is actually from the Muslim? Yep. Yep, it is. Wow. Every little thing. It's, it's, you don't realize how much work goes into someone putting out a book, even as small as a children's book. There's so much work that goes into it. So to be able to say that you self-published a book is pretty major. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So, so tell us about the title of this book. It's Time to Say Fuck It. In other four-letter words, it's pretty much um, a motivational book. And it's telling people to just get rid of all that naysayers and all that backlash, do what you want to do to be happy mm -hmm. and that's where you will definitely find like, you know, a prosperous life because you gotta think like, you know, I can't live my life based on your fears or anyone else's fears. So it's just something you want to let go of all that weight that you carry from others and from yourself and just to move forward with your life and do what you want to do, how you want to do it. I like that, I like that. So just basically just say fuck it. Like just, say fuck it. Yeah, just say fuck I it. Just say fuck it. I mean, I kind of like it because, like, why would you stress about, like, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like just fuck it. Like, right. you know, I kind of like the impression that it gives. Like, I, I like that, like, you know? So I was on your page, and um, I see that you got, like, a, a huge response off, off of your book. And, like, you know, people were saying, like, oh, I just got my book in the mail. They were tagging you in it. They were, you know, giving you feedback and stuff that they liked about the book and, you know, and how it was really popular and popular. Like, how, how does that make you feel to, to get that type of feedback? Off? Is this your first book? First book. How, how did that make you feel about, you know, the success that you're getting off of your first book? Well, it, it feels amazing. Like, I didn't, when I started writing, it was just a hobby. Just something for me to do to release some energy. Something positive for me to do. So, the fact that it turned into a book, it surprised me, as well as other people around me that never knew I was writing a book. They would just know you was home all day long on a computer. Like, what are you doing on a computer all day long, right, right, wasting right. your time when I'm writing a book? Okay. And um, when I see people post that they got their book and they received and they're in love with it, that's another thing about self-publishing. Um, everything as far as the book, and when I send out the book, I, I go to the mailbox myself. No one goes for me. I put the book together, I put, um, when I send it out, I have it ribbon, it's, it's wrapped up nicely, it has a page on front of it letting them know that this book is my baby and what yeah. it means to me. Mm -hmm. So, with having a publisher, you don't really have no say in that. Yeah. So with me, it's like, I had to say, I did it on my own, these were all my ideas, and to see people in love with that, you yeah. know, it's like, wow, it's, yeah. it really is amazing. I did see that, you know, that you got a lot of feedback, like, you know, obviously a lot of people ordered it because you sent out, you know, a lot of books and stuff, and so, right. like, yeah, I, how much is the book? The book is $19.99, it's $20, yeah. um, which includes free shipping. If you go on the website, um, you'll see that it's free shipping, I send the book out. Um, but yeah, so, like I was saying, back to the whole self-publishing thing, right. it, um, it feels good because to know that I did this all on my own yeah. and to see how people are in love with it and responding to it and just to know that I could do it again if I wanted to. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Like that's a big right. thing to be a publisher. Right. There's right. companies who charge you 
thousands of dollars to publish a book. Right. And it's like, damn, I did it by myself. Right. It wasn't easy, no. but you know. Would that be the advice that you'll give a uh, upcoming book writer? Like, to would you would it be? Would you rather? Would you give that advice to you know, like, publish your own book, be a self-publisher? Um, I would say to some yes and to some no, only because some people don't have, like, kind of what it, not what it takes, but the aesthetics. they don't have the, they don't want to put in that time and that work, and they might have something really great, mm -hmm. but they don't have the time and energy to put into that. Mm -hmm. So some people, it might be a little easier for you to hire a publisher. That's why they are there, right, you right, know? Right, okay. And then there's some people like myself who do have the time and who are interested in it. So I go really hard because I'm interested in books. I'm mm -hmm. interested in being an author. Like, that was something that was really major to me. So... Someone like myself, then yes, definitely self-publish. But then there are people who don't really, you know what I mean? They want to write a book, they want to get the book out there. They're not interested in the cover design or the how it's being, you know, sent out on the bookshelves and things like that. So, to some yes, to some no. Yeah. <laughs> this is very interesting. Let's get to a whoa, whoa. I got a question. Was you worried about the feedback on the name of your book? I was. If you, <laughs> on the back of my book, I have what's called um, Advanced Praise. And advanced praise is um, someone's first reaction to the book. Mm -hmm. And my mother's first reaction when she first saw the book, I had got a copy of it made and sent mm -hmm. to me. So I pulled it out the envelope and I showed it to her and she's like, oh my God, you wrote a book. And then when I showed her the title, she's like, oh, you can't put fuck it on the front of the book. You gotta change this. What happens if you are being interviewed by Oprah? You can't say fuck it in front of Oprah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and right then and there, I was kind of, I like, not self-conscious, but a part of me was just like, maybe she's like, I can't fuck it. But then again, my brain told me, fuck it. I want to fuck it on my book. Yeah, right. Fuck right, it on my book. Right, 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 right. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I, I stuck with it. And like I said, that's actually what's drawn people in. Okay. You know? That's what really has drawn people in to want to know what's inside of it, just based on what's on the outside. Did you have any, uh, like, is there a reason why you went publishing it yourself versus going to somebody else and getting them to do it? Is there a reason why you yeah, want to Yeah, finances. finances. I have no money. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I have no money to hire a publisher, that's so it really, I really was like, if you want this book published, you're either going to have to wait and save money or do it right now and figure out how to do it yourself. Right. So, right. and me, I'm just, I'm, I can't wait. It's I moving good for yeah, you to do it by yourself, it, so, though. Yeah. I definitely hear, see the feedback. I be checking the page all the time, just like, oh, let me see what you got on the book. You gotta come on the show. I gotta check it out. You know. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's time to say fuck it. Yeah. You know? We are gonna take a break. Take a break and get back into it. More with fuck it when we come back. Yeah. Thank you. You are live with the dash effect. Who's calling? This, my name is Margie. I'm short as mom. How you doing? Mom! Yeah. What's up, Mom? How you feeling about this book? I, I was, I was a little, um, yeah, about yeah. the title. About the title. However, uh, once you get into the book, I understand. I understand where she's coming from with it. Um, and I, I just want to say that I'm very proud of her. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Oh man, we appreciate that. That's love right there from the book. Yeah. You don't get it from mom, you like you ain't gonna get it nowhere else. All right. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I'm okay. enjoying this show. We appreciate you calling. I right, thank you. Have a nice one. Bye. She is so cute. <laughs> is mom one of your biggest she, fans? She's my biggest fan by far. <laughs> yeah. Everything I do, she's my biggest fan. Yeah, <laughs> I knew she would call. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to mom for calling. Yeah. And, uh, where, where are you from? Northeast. Northeast? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yep. Cool. So, um, when did the book drop? It actually, um, it was finished, like, production on, um, in October. But I didn't start sales until January 1st. I made it a New Year's Eve yeah. type of countdown, okay. and I dropped it on New Year's, so it was a big thing. I made, like, a huge thing out of it on social media, okay. which is another thing. I had to promote it all by myself. So um, I created a social media page. Um, I also put it on my page as well, and then also created a website. So it all dropped on New Year's okay. at midnight. Mm. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, that was pretty, pretty cool. cool. Okay. Yeah. Just a different, right. you know, tactic to use for uh -huh. dropping it. I seen on your Instagram that uh, you had a book signing. Mm -hmm. How did that go for you? That actually went really.
really, really well. Like even better than I had hoped it would go. I sold like so many copies of books. People came who I did not think would, you know, ever come. So it was pretty packed and busy the entire time. It was even hotter than it is in this room right now. Right. It was so packed. <laughs> what was that? Um, what was it 30th in Gerard? 29th of July. Okay. 29th of July. That's really No, 30th. It was 30th. 30th. Okay. So, um, she, this woman, who's an incredible woman, she owns a after school program. And you come, it's called the Reading Corner. And um, your kids can come, do their schoolwork, and also do other activities, educational activities. So, um, I thought what better place to have it than somewhere that's right. promoting reading amongst children. Yeah. So, right. And I picked that. A lot of people skip over reading, though. They do. Yeah. yeah. And that's really important. I hear an ebook reading it to him. <laughs> Yo, for real, bro? He's like, yeah, I'm the book talking to me. I'm like, what? Right, or TV. And it's, that's a point. A lot of children yeah. are older and can't read. Yeah, yeah. sad. Yeah. Tell us about the writing process for the book. Like, I, what, what inspired you to, you know, for, for the story? Like, well, like I said, originally it started off me just writing just to get out some energy. Mm -hmm. And I was going through so much at that time with my job, with my, you know, just life in general. Is it a stress reliever? It is a, it's a stress Writing? reliever. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not very stress reliever. Mm -hmm. okay. It really is. So that's what I was doing, just like I would just spend an hour a day just writing. And the energy was so positive that next thing I know, an hour turned into two hours. Then two hours turned into six hours. The next thing I know, I'm through the night, you know, just writing all night long. Yeah. And when I checked my um, word count and my page count, I'm like, I'm at 200 pages. Like mm -hmm. just writing, and I was just pretty, pretty much putting into this book personal stories, stories that was going on presently and in the past, and things that I was hoping for for the future as well. And reading it back to myself, I was like, "Damn, girl, yeah, like you was the truth. That's right." So that's when I said, "You know what? I gotta publish this. I gotta put this book out because if it's motivating me." As long as it motivates one other person to mm -hmm. do something or make a change in their life or to do, you know, to turn a negative situation into a positive situation, like, I would want it to be out there. Right. Okay. And this is so, kind of the book I hope to have read when I was younger. Right. Okay. So this book isn't, like, about one story? No, it's a lot. It talks okay. about different things, like when you adapt, you know, growing up, how you get from that adolescence period to being an adult, different changes you should make, how you get rid of that toxic person in your life, how you move on from your job to your career, like not being afraid, taking chances, taking risks, you know, it's relationships between yourself, your family, your friends, loving your body, loving the people around you, like it goes from one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum. It's really complex and really in depth and it's really honest. Like I get a lot of feedback that like it's really raw, it's really real because mm -hmm. I just I said what I had to say and it is a lot of cursing in it. Although it's like you know <laughs> I didn't uh, want it to be a book with a bunch of cursing, but I kept it real and that's just how it came out. Yeah, and like I both. didn't want to filter it, right? I just I just put it out there. Just, so like fuck it. Yeah. Is there a website you're selling the book on, or is it strictly through? Yes, I sell it on my personal website, which is um, www. Shauna. Um, dash winset, w y n s e t t dot squarespace dot com, mm -hmm. but I um, am going to be selling on Amazon in the very near future, probably sometime next week. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank cool. you. So, are are we going to get another book from you in some soon? Of course. I'm hoping to make a book, make a movie, make a screenplay, make all types awesome. of stuff. Awesome. Take it to another level. So, you level. Have, have you actually been looking for? Anybody to help you with the movie as far as like casting or anything like that? Have Not yet. I haven't even wrote it yet. I have ideas. Like my brain never shuts off. Just my ideas work. continually flow, continually flow. Mm -hmm. So I have it inside of me. I haven't put it on paper yet. But when I put it on paper, my plan is to put it in a book mm -hmm. and then to go forward. Well, when speed. you're ready to shoot a movie, how about I definitely will. Thank you. We got a twenty four seven TV in the building. Hey. Yeah. He got the best films in the city. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hype it up just because he's on my team, but he got the best films in the city. You can see me. So yeah, he do his thing. Yeah. We actually got a short film coming. Crime Wave coming soon. Yeah. We slacking on it right now, but it's coming soon. It's a process. Right, right. Nothing's gonna happen overnight. Exactly. We're one of we're one of those teams that we wish that we could come out with a movie tomorrow. Right? <laughs> you know? Right. So but, but we all know the world don't work like that. Like, you know, so just don't let the ball drop. Right, right. Just won't drop. drop the ball. Right. Mm -hmm. Might get an extension, but we ain't dropping the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Definitely, definitely. Let's get into it for break. <laughs> All right. Yeah, when we be. come back, we got more with Shauna. Did I say it right? Shauna. Shauna. Shauna Lane. Everybody name up on the National Fair. Shauna Lane. Shauna Lane. Shauna Lane. Shauna Lane. Lane. You said Shauna Lane. You fucking up names too. I said Lane. Oh, she got to spell L-N-A-E. Listen, listen, this is all my mama. What the apostrophe? <laughs> Silent A. What the apostrophe? What that yeah. say? Let's just say Lane. Everybody say Lane. Everybody say Lane, but it's Lane. 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 All right, all right. My bad. Check us out. Shauna Lane. Fuck it. Right. We we'll be back in a minute. Hold on. You got any questions or any concerns for Shauna Lane? Call us up right now. Two six seven nine hundred two one five one. She'll answer any questions. Any concerns? We're gonna be right back after these messages. And if she don't like it, she might say fuck it. <laughs> <laughs>